Hello, welcome back to Bones Games. Um, we're continuing with our playthrough of GoldenEye. Um, this time we're going to the Statue Park, continuing on Secret Agent. Um, it's uh, a lot has happened since my last episode. There's been a bit of a another hiatus, but the consequence of that hiatus or what happened during that time was that we moved into our house. So uh, I have a brand new gaming room. Uh, it has a brand new TV, a sharp TV with a scart lead so you can play all your old games. I have a TV unit that I put together myself using my bare hands and a screwdriver, which is a new experience for me. Uh, a bookshelf as well that I put together. Um, it has a sort of gamer logo on the door when you come in. It has posters. I'm not too happy with the posters just yet, but... Um, I, I will I will add more and there's a, even a few amiibo around dotted around the place. So yeah, I'm I'm very happy with this studio, but again, obviously with these things, it takes time to get the setup right. So uh excuse me if there's any apologies if there's any delays or any extra noise or any, you know, quiet patches or whatever or too patches that are too loud in this video as I try to get all the settings right again. But Fingers crossed, uh, this should be even better than my old setup and uh, easier to find the time to do. So, um, yeah, we're in the Statue Park, which is either one of my favorite levels. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it's one of my favorite levels, but certainly one of the most interesting. I think the iconography here is something that they that they enjoyed doing. You know, there's statues of you know the sickle, sickle and hammer, and of Lenin, and so on. I'd say that was fun to put together. And now I must get used to the controls again. It's been a while. Yeah. Isn't looking too good for Bond. He's barely, he's barely arrived in the place, and already he's under fire. Okay, maybe this will do a bit better. Yeah. So some of this is sort of. I remember when thinking as a child, some of this is kind of creepy. You know, it's sort of pixelated because it's on the Nintendo 64, but you can tell that they're kind of strange faces and figures in there. So. Interesting, interesting um, take. So, uh, what we look the first thing we're doing is we're going to look for Valentin Zukowski, uh, who should be in this. Whoops. prepared for a restart I'd say here because uh... oh my god that came quicker than I thought it would um... yeah the the switch controls I remember in a, a few of the other videos I, I tried a few different combinations but none of them seemed to that natural so I suppose I'm used to dual analog controls now, whereby, you know, if you're playing something like Call of Duty you now or even a more recent GoldenEye game, um, you'll have uh, one to move and one to look. But on 1064, you're using one control for one analog stick for both. So um, you can't quite replicate that. Unless you have an Nintendo 64 Switch controller, which you can get. Um, might be worth an investment, actually. Just for, uh, you know, games like other Nintendo 64 games I plan to play on service. So, uh, yeah. I think they sell out fairly quickly in Nintendo 64 controllers for the Switch. At least that's my, what I've heard. So, that'd be a little tricky to get, but... Uh, if I could get one, I think it would enhance the experience. Yeah. 
You can tell I'm getting used to the controls because I'm using a lot more bullets than I actually need to. Like, if I could get this precision right, um, it wouldn't take many at all. And also you can tell that uh, because I'm going quite close to the guards in order to kill them, that's another sign, I think, that I'm still getting used to controls. Is this the one? Yep. So. Go on. Good evening, Mr. Bond. These are strange times. Rest in peace, Robbie Coltrane. Very cool actor. So, ex-KGB meeting in my six. Yeah, that is kind of strange. Things have changed in Russia. Yannis will meet you by Lennis statue. Bear him, he's a Lens Cossack traitor. Now I must leave. Guards are out of force and they fear they may mistake me for a spy. So. <laughs> Not too worried. I mean, he's he's going fairly slow. He isn't too panicked about the whole thing. You're not gonna... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> and there he walked. He walked off into the darkness. And, uh, yeah, fine, apparently. Uh, Vantine doesn't need to worry too much, apparently, supposedly. He wasn't even going... At a brisk pace there. Very casual stroll. Apologies if um, there's any interference from traffic outside the window. It's a slightly new setup, so um, I moved basically moved from the country, the city. Um, no, not that far into the city, suburbs really. Um, and quite close to my parents' home, but uh, it's a little more built up than I suppose I'm used to. In the middle of the countryside, you have endless quiet. <laughs> and here you have a little bit more noise, a little bit. It's taken a while to get used to this things here. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, I'm, we're very happy here, I must say. You know, I quite enjoy it here. The, I, I think it's, it's quite a comfortable place to live. Um, near a lot of facilities and the house is in, is in good condition. But as with any second-hand house that you take over, um, there's, there's lots of kind of things you have to learn about it, you know. Certain even house noises or certain things that are actually might need to fix, but you didn't really know about them beforehand. Like for example, one of the presses. Oh my god. Stop. Like one of the presses was kind of shaky it wasn't um when it was the hand hinges were kind of coming off and then eventually one day it actually did come off properly so um yeah just things like that you know that are that were on the point of breaking and probably the previous owner said look i'll leave this for the new person to, to fix um So yeah, the big reveal of Goldeneye is that Alec Trevelyan, who we thought died in the opening scene in the facility, is actually Yanis. The idea of Yanis two faces. Um, and he's a lens Kazakh, which is uh, probably could be explored more in the film. I think it's 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 kind of an interesting community or whatever, but basically um uh they they were they were kind of people who fleed Stalin and instead of being um taken in by the British. I think they were they were just killed. Um they were weren't trusted. Uh so yeah I think I think I think that's it. Um oh. Okay. That was a bit foolhardy. I plan 
in the next episode, or not in the next episode, right now, actually, uh, will be to get there faster because I think I got held up with some guards and to hide behind that statue of Len. Secret agent take more bullets than I thought. Or else it's a sort of a difficulty jump around Statue Park, which I have no so for, but could be possibly. Um, you know, uh, those shotguns that Yanis's guards have at the end, they're quite. I don't think we've come across them before. So, yeah, maybe there is. Trying to save my energy now for Giannis. Would he talk to me even if there's guards outside? Yeah, don't worry, I am listening, yeah. Is that a fellow with a gun? Oh, it's just a gun in the ground. <laughs> I'm just standing just outside of just outside of you. Just a gun hovering near the door. That would have been cool. Pretty sneaky. Try not to linger now to here here too long because I think that's what I did last time and uh I ended up getting shot full of holes, so The dialogue changes here depending on what you do. So um if you show up with if you if you have your gun out, Yanis will say, Put it away, Doug 7 I know what you're planning anyway, but if you show up with no gun, uh, he says, Oh, the budget must be things must be tight in MI6. <laughs> you're not they're not even sending their agents out with guns. So uh I had a feeling there was some sort of trick to this art actually whereby you could um, get a head start on these guys. So he's saying that the girl is up with a tiger slash pirate slash whatever it is in the film um, helicopter. And no, that won't work. They really do need to take a note. Otherwise, they'll uh, just pulverize you. Oh, well. I hope you like uh, Soviet iconography because you're going to see a lot of it till we beat this level. Yeah, my aim is improving a little bit, but still not fast enough. So we'll run through this. There's actually a tip someone I heard recently who was like always go 
you want to get to the exit, you need to, there's sort of a handy tip that if you always head this way or like always head northwest or something like a, like a maze, um, then you'll get there. But uh, I think I have it down. Once you get to this red box, you're kind of halfway. I'm listening. Don't worry. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. 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 Oh, terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have one eye in the door now, Valentine, and one eye on you. So, excuse me if, uh, yeah. Perfect. And once you find this gate, you kind of follow, or this fence, you follow it along. And then there's a whole load of stuff here. And then you get to kind of an open space. So this time I really will have to kill those guards. Maybe I can get away with killing, not killing any that I find on the way to the helicopter. But it looks like these four will have to go anyway. <laughs> so, um... I could take out my gun now here, but uh, I think you have to wait till he says he's fit, or otherwise he'll take it as a, an offense. Absolutely leg it. Uh, oh yeah, now I get lost. Okay, here we go. I think there's still a shootout that we have to have. Is this the right direction? I think, I think it is, yeah. I think it is, no. Please don't let there be guards up here. Come on, I tell ya. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. And then basically we just bring the tally over here. This is actually a great scene in the film because they use the ejector seat to kind of bounce out the helicopter before um, it explodes or why it's exploding almost. Uh. I'll get there. I'm improving. I'm getting closer each time. And if worse comes to worst, I'll finish it off camera. Um but yeah. That'll do for this episode. Um but join me again soon for more Holmes games. <laughs>